Sego Sewa Guego, Jennifer Youngyats, Gatnega Hagani e Tandanega Nidawegenu. My name is Jennifer Brandt. I am Mohawk with family ties to Tandanega Mohawk Territory and Six Nations of the Grand River Territory. And I grew up in the Niagara region, which is Haudenosaunee and Anishinaabe Territory. And I am a mother of two children who I center in the work that I do on maternal pedagogies. I'm here at the University of Manitoba teaching an Indigenous methodologies course in educational context. I draw from decolonial feminist praxis um, and also kind of dive into um, Indigenous literatures as liberatory praxis. It's really important to introduce Indigenous methodologies into the field of education because many of our students are looking for um, ways of ethically engaging in research um, projects that involve topics related to truth and reconciliation, but also that involve Indigenous participants. And so one of the books that I'm using is Linda Smith's Decolonizing Methodologies. And this is her latest edition, but when I was a grad student, I read her earlier edition just on my own time. We didn't have Indigenous research methods courses when I was a student, and so I'm really delighted to have the opportunity to teach this to other students. The class brings together non-Indigenous and Indigenous students, and so for non-Indigenous students, it's about really thinking deeply about doing this research in a good way, in a way that is not extractive, right? Taking these lessons from Linda Smith's book. And for Indigenous students, it's also about really thinking about the principles and the ethical protocols related to Indigenous methodology. Part of this is also really taking a deep dive into to history, right? To understanding the history um, of what research meant for Indigenous peoples and trying to move forward and engage in research that is responsible and reciprocal and that really is connected to community well-being. One of the really exciting things about teaching this course here at the Faculty of Education at the University of Manitoba is the opportunity to teach the course in a new Indigenous designed space. So it's a new Indigenous space for classes and for other events. And this is where I actually held one of my first sharing circles. And so to be able to talk about the intention in the design of the space and the way that space fosters the spirit of coming together is really powerful and really important. And I think students appreciate not just learning about what this space could look like from a theoretical perspective, but also physically being in that space.